Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy here at the beautiful Turnberry Resort for this year's Stack and Tilt Camp here with the great Andy Plummer and all the Stack and Tilters and campers and we're learning so much. It's pretty amazing uh, what's going on here at the camp. I highly recommend it. Um, you know, if you do get a chance, I think there's another one in May, so definitely take a look. So I wanted to bring you something today that I know that could help you immensely, really simple. And for what I, what I always see um, is in the setup. So if you can get the setup right, and this is something I see with every camper that's here, is that we're working on the setup. And what does that mean? It's really a, it's really a big part of how your elbows are. See, most golfers set up with their elbows out. So you can see how my elbows are pointed out here. Okay, so what happens is when your elbows are out, you're gonna continuously flex your wrist and flex your elbows. And notice where my club face is. My club face is very, very closed. So this is something that I know could help you. And usually what happens is that when you're, when you're hitting shots and you flex the elbows and your elbows are set out, uh, you know, facing backwards and forwards, what happens is that face opens and you get that slicing shot. So it's very difficult to move your elbows or move your arms in the correct position and also it affects your wrist. So I had a great question from one of the campers about wrist conditions and how do you keep your wrist? Well, I feel like it starts immediately how you position yourself at setup uh, with your elbows. And so I see so many people like this with their elbows. What we want to do is we want to bring our elbows in. So we want the pockets of our elbows facing to the sky. And so that's very, it's, uh, that's something that a lot of people struggle with. A lot of people that I work with struggle with and obviously here at the camp, definitely. So again, I see people with the elbows out and you want to feel the elbows in together. So in this way. So if I held the club out, what I would do is I would just tell people to get their elbows underneath them. So what happens is that now my right arm, my right arm, instead of having my right arm higher than my left, okay, now my right arm is lower than my left. So you can see this here. So now you can see my, my left arm instead of it pointing to the left. So a whole host of problems come up right from that setup. So the setup, what happens is as soon as that a right arm goes higher, look at my shoulders, look at my hip, my, my hips turn to the left, my shoulders turn to the left, my eyes and head really get off. So, so immediately, right out of the setup, um, you're going to be off. So what happens is that you turn this way, the club lifts outside, your arms fold, you get steep, and then you have to do some funky stuff to try to get the club back to the ball. So this is super important. So we go, we go in the elbows, we call it, we have three positions. So we have, when the elbows are out, that's position three, that's two, that's one. So we're gonna get our elbows to position one. Okay, so you can see that right there. So my right arm now is underneath my left. If you watch Bryson DeChambeau, he's somebody who has that significantly underneath. He's got that right arm really turned underneath, okay? So the right elbow turned underneath at a dress. So he's got it, he's got it like this, where his elbows are very close together, his handle's very high, Okay, and he's, you know, that's his, that's his setup address for sure. So what goes along with that is that, you know, again, you're like, okay, dress, great. We put our elbows in like this, that's great. But now we, what do we do with our wrists and hands? So you can see my wrists and hands move without turning my elbows. A lot of people do this and turn their elbow. So especially with their trail arm. So what you wanna do is you wanna have your elbow underneath and then you wanna independently move your wrist to the side. So now if you look at this, so if I take the club face, put it in the palm of my hand, and I turn the club face, look at what happens to my club face now. So now the club face is facing the target. If you wanna draw the ball, this is very important. So when you do this, club face toward the target, now my right wrist is bent back, okay? Now as I swing the club back, now the face is on the inside part of my shaft. Remember what I did with the, when the elbows were out, the face opened, and you can see the face on the outside part of the shaft. When I do it the other way, now the face is on the inside part of the shaft. This is crucial to hitting a draw. It's just crucial to hit playing good golf, you know. So, um, so what we do here is we take these elbows, we put them together, right elbow under the left, right wrist sent to the side, 
And then as I go back, I'm going to keep that structure all the way back in my backswing. So you can see that, and, and as you know from a lot of the videos we do, uh, I do, is that, you know, the extending, tilting, turning, so you're keeping the structure of your arms going. And so when you do that, you're taking the structure of your arms, and now you can see you're in a great position at the top. Okay, so it really affects, setup really affects you in all different ways. Not only just, you know, from the setup with the wrist, but it also, you know, helps you move your hips better, helps you extend, tilt, and turn better. So there's a lot of good stuff going on right now. Um, so again, we're gonna get the elbow, kind of this right elbow underneath, or elbows together. So we're gonna go elbows together, okay? Right arm underneath, and then from here, all we're gonna do is make a little shot. And that ball, that ball just draws it draws every single time. There's no other way around it because now your club face is in a good position. You're swinging your arms around a stable axis of your body here. So you're swinging your arms around a stable axis with a face that's close to the shaft and it all came up from your setup. So all you players out there that have your elbows out, let's work on getting them in and under especially the trail arm for you and just make sure now you don't want to you got to be careful you don't want to take that hand now and go way underneath you got to get that hand from the side remember right elbow underneath hand from the side that's going to keep the face closed to the shaft and that's what you want to hit a draw you want to keep the face closed to the shaft to hit a draw so again we'll do that again arms close together okay face close to the shaft so you can see I can automatically put that in a good position. And then we're just gonna hit a little uh, three to nine shot again. The ball draws, it draws every time. It was a little thin, but it still drew, still got up in the air, didn't hit behind it. So again, try that again for you. So I wanna feel like my elbow pockets are underneath here. I can, I can move my wrist independently here so I can get my right wrist correct. So my right wrist now is bent back into basically bent back into this little, what's called a flying wedge here. So you can see that wrist bent back, face closed to the shaft. Here's your impact position, handle forward, face closed. You're gonna hit a lot of good shots that way. What that also does is helps with your downward angle of attack. So now I can hit, I can hit into the back of the ball down enough where I'm hitting the ball high enough on the face to get the ball in the air. So I'm gonna do a little face on here. I'll move this camera around over here so we can see this as well. Okay. So that's good right there, beautiful. So again, we're gonna do the elbows together. A little crooked, let me fix that. Okay, so this is an awesome day again. Stack and tilt camp at the beautiful uh, Turnberry Resort down here in Aventura, Miami, Miami, Florida. Okay, learning tons that I want to bring to you so you can, you can be a better golfer. Again, elbows together, okay, right wrist, so right elbow underneath so you can see the setup here, okay. So the ball never slices, the ball never goes to the right, and this is, this is so crucial for everyone out there that, that can help, this can help you, help your game, again, Something that also can help your wrist conditions. So now when you swing back instead of the face opening, if you're a slicer, if you're a slicer and the face opens, you're gonna slice. Cause now the face is in a butter knife position. It's gonna slice across the ball. However, if your right arm's underneath, your face is close to the shaft, you swing your arms around your axis of your body, axis of the body. So now you're swinging in an arc around your body. You can see my arms swing. They don't swing straight back. They swing around because we're playing golf on a tilted angle. So we swing around. Now you can see the face as I'm coming down. The shaft's coming from a great spot. Face is close to the shaft. I'm hitting down and into the ball. So I'm hitting down and into the ball. Down and out into the ball. So I can make a divot with a handle forward. And that ball curves to the left every single time because now my elbows are better, my wrist is better, keep the flying wedge. As I go through the ball, the face is closed to the shaft. 
that may be a little too much, but probably a lot of slicers out there, that would probably help them a lot. So try that one more time. One more time. Face close to the shaft, elbows in a good position. Come back down. And that works pretty well, pretty well. So again, hope this helps you. I know it will. Work on the elbows, work on the wrist, get yourself in a good position here, and you'll hit better shots. Again, my name is Jess Frank. Love teaching this game at the Stack and Tilt Camp this week, learning tons. Gonna bring you a ton more content um, right from uh, the Stack and Tilt Camp here. And uh, enjoy the video. If you really like this, please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Uh, please hit it with a thumbs up. So I really appreciate it again. We'll see you soon. Thanks again.